I never was raised with a, a religion, faith in Jesus Christ or in God. I saw people go to church all the time, and I was like, what? These guys are weird. <laughs> you know, I like sleeping in. I did all my yard work on Sundays. And I uh, was, I was in my senior year of high school. I remember walking from my car to the school, and a thought came to my head. It was like, what's the point of this life? You know, am I here to just do whatever I need to do and then die? And like, that's it. And it's kind of a bleak outlook on, on life. So I didn't like that a lot. And I started uh, just like thinking about that a lot. You know, why, why am I here? What's the point of my life? I started dating a girl and this girl has a lot of different food allergies to things like nuts, mushrooms, you name it. She would probably die from it. And we went to a school dance and we had our dinner afterwards, it was great. We go to the dance and man, she just stops breathing. And I'm just trying to like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've never dealt with something like this before. So uh, after some time, my friends came and they're like, hey, is there anything we can do to help you out? And she said, can you get me a priesthood blessing? And so they go, they find a couple of people who, who have, you know, the authority to give this blessing. And we go to the side of my school, I pop out of my car. She's like still just in tears, having a panic attack. We go into a side room and they anoint her head with oil and they give her this blessing. And it was probably one of the coolest experiences in my life, just being able to watch her like almost immediately be healed from that. And I was like, wow, that was really cool. That night, my, my best friend, he, he's like, hey, do you want to come to church with me? I was like, sure, you know, whatever. So I show up and I started going to church for about two months. And two months goes by and he goes, hey, my mom was wondering if you wanted to meet with the missionaries. And I was like, sure, why not? So I called missionaries up, we would walk on by, and I got, boom, Elder Mevs, who's from San Diego, California, and Elder Mac, who's from Indonesia. Coolest duo in the world. And immediately we just, we just hit it off and we became like best friends. And I remember they, they asked me to be baptized once. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And then they asked me to be baptized again. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I wasn't sure. You know, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it because I wanted to do it, not because I had this girlfriend that was in the church. And I remember one night I was kneeling by my bed. And I was like, you know, I'm going to offer a prayer. And I'm going to ask God. And so I, I asked God, I said, you know, Heavenly Father, should I get baptized? And the most distinct whisper said, why not? And I was like, oh, okay. So the next day, the missionaries come over, and I'm like, elders, I want to get baptized this Saturday. And man, they were ecstatic. So I graduated high school uh, June 1st, and then I got baptized June 2nd. And somewhere along the time the missionaries meeting with me, I remember they took me to the old tabernacle in Salt Lake City, and their mission president was giving his farewell talk. He was going home from his mission. So here I am in this tabernacle surrounded by a ton of missionaries and this mission president teaching about missionary work. And even in there, I, I, I heard the spirit say, hey, you need to serve a mission. I'm like, man, okay. So after some time and lollygagging in the church, I finally got here and the mission has probably been the greatest experience of my life. It's helped me learn a lot, helped me understand who my savior is and how much Heavenly Father loves me and how personal of a God he is to each of us.